We got calves to check, cows to count. So let's get to work. Okay, we're counting cows this morning to see if they're all here. The newest baby getting his morning breakfast. Four days old. 16, 17. I'm missing either one or two. Okay, I think they're all here. It's hard to count them in the woods. I think I've got 15 here and I had 14 over on the other side, so that'd be all of them. missing one cow down here at the creek place. It's cow number 41, orange tag. Uh, the last two or three days, she's just been looking a lot like she's gonna calve at any time, and she's the only one I'm missing, so we're trying to find her. It's rough finding one when the trees are fully leaved out and the grass is tall. Uh, there's a cow in the creek right against the bank over here. I'm gonna make sure that's not her. Nope. It's not. Still missing her. Well, we weren't able to find number 41 this morning. Uh, she's the only one we're missing. She's really close to Kevin. So hopefully it'll be like the last cow that we missed for two or three days. She'll come out with one or two live ones here in a day or two. But we can't find her this morning. This rail fence that we've got that goes around our house here is about 25 years old. And last night we had a calf in the yard and it broke one of the rails. Well, ever since COVID, we haven't been able to get replacement rails and posts. So I've got to make do with what I've got. The end broke off that fits into the post. I'm going to saw it off and then screw in a two inch dowel that I've had with a four inch lag screw and it's going to replace the end of it hopefully. First thing I got to do is saw off the broken part and make it square with the rest of the pole. I'm just going to use a hand saw. And some of these made up because this is not the first time this has happened. I took this dowel rod, drilled a hole through it, and then run this lag screw through it. So now all I've got to do is screw it into the end of this with the drill. So I'm gonna take the, the part that I put the dowel rod on, put it in as far as it'll go. Then take the other, put it in, good as new, Aggie Ingenuity. Finally found number 41 here. She does have a healthy little red calf. Everybody's good. found barely over half the cows here. It's about noon. Didn't check them this morning. Only 18 of the 34 so far. I think that may be number 41 with the new baby. No, 
That's not the newest one, but it's about a week old. It's doing fine. Okay, we've made it up to 30, but we're still missing four. Still missing two after thinking we found most all of them, but you can see how dense these woods are. And they're back up in there in the shade. It's getting, it's warmed up. It's rained a little bit, and now it's really humid. So they're probably up there somewhere. I'm not too worried about them. Don't have any really close to cabin down here. Skunk smell is burning my eyes. It's so strong. Never did see it. Woo! Even Louie thought it was nasty. Just got our newest purchase delivered here. She's a purebred beefmaster heifer. Uh, we just purchased from the neighbor. He just delivered her a few minutes ago. Uh, my wife saw her in another field and said she just had to have her. Thought she was the cutest little thing she'd ever seen. She is a very nice heifer. That face is memorable to say the least. We'll leave her up in the corral here for a day or two just to make sure she gets settled in, give her some grain. <laughs> Got a buzzard sitting on top of a fence post. It's fairly early in the morning, so I assume he's drying his wings from the evening dew or something. I don't know, but it looks kind of eerie sitting there. This cow number 41 that we're approaching right now, she had a newborn calf five days ago. She kept it in the woods forever. Day before yesterday, I was searching for her, and she was in the edge of the woods, and I was driving along, and I felt my UTV bump, and I had actually run over uh, with uh, one tire, her baby calf. And uh, I'm checking on it today. It, it, it's fine. It was bedded down in this heavy fescue, uh, so that acted more like a cushion for it. So, but that's the danger you run into when everything's so grown up like this. Here's number 41 with her calf that I accidentally ran over the other day. And as you can see, it's doing fine. Has no ill effects from being run over by the gator, so that's good. Mm -hmm. 